Hey, welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to make a delicious lamb stew, so y'all stay tuned. down to the market this morning found some uh, lamb neck bones real cheap like $3.99 a pound so I decided uh, hey man well, you know we've had some great Greek food here in Florida you know the Greeks came here in the early 1900s to uh, to fish the Gulf of Mexico especially and uh, to gather sponges and there's still that culture remains a day especially in um, West Central Florida and Southwest um, Florida, a uh, very uh, big ethnic Greek population there still today, uh, and their food is awesome. So we're going to give this one a try, and we're going to do it in a Dutch oven. Let's go get our fire ready. Here are our neck bones we uh, just got, and we're going to season them. We're going to use this uh, this Greek seasoning here, Caviander's all-purpose Greek seasoning. I tried this. It is uh, amazing right out of the right out of the bottle I'm sure you could uh, do a little research and find out how to make it from scratch but we're just going to season these things real good on both sides because here we're not going to be using any kind of a kind of a broth this is gonna the, these bones are gonna make our broth and that's why we want bones or you know a lot of bones to start this with it's gonna make it much richer I'm going to get this set up to braise in the 12-inch uh, Dutch oven. I have taken some people's advice and from my bags here and put the, uh, the lid in first in the bottom and then the oven on top of that. So that is, I kept that nice and clean while it's been stored away. Digging it. Okay, we're not uh, gonna go crazy with heat control right as of yet. So, I wanna got some lit coals here. I'm gonna put about 10 or 12 out. And just put them in a layer. Right now we just need some heat in, the, heat in our pot. Let's go ahead and just go straight on Dutch oven. And, uh, do what it does best, let it warm up. Okay, and what I'm going to season the pot with, this is just rendered uh, brisket fat. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of that in there. I just uh, put this in the microwave and softened it up a little bit. It gets hard as a brick uh, when you keep it in the refrigerator, but do keep it in the refrigerator. It will go rancid on you. Um, I've had this for a couple weeks in the fridge and still you can give it a sniff test before you use it. If it's rancid, you'll know. That's what we're going to use to start to brown it. A lot more flavor there. Okay, we're just starting to heat up. I'm going to go ahead and put these in here and let it come on up to heat. And we want to brown them very, very well before we put any liquid in. quite nicely on both on all sides. And that's what you want if you're uh, you know, you develop that nice good stock. So right as they're just about ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh rough and chop small onions. Go ahead and uh put them around the sides there and let them brown a little bit. And that will also help develop our uh our stock. So it seems to be working better with the lid on. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on. Just keep an eye on it. Alright, the onions are brown very nicely. You guys can see that or not. The onions are brown. We've got a nice bond on the bottom of the pot. So, right now we're going to go ahead and just put in about about three cups of water, but we're going to put just a little in to begin with and let that come up to a boil and raise our fire. And we 
want to gently stir that. And I'm going to go get a wooden tool so that I don't scratch the bottom of my pot. All right, so you can see that beautiful brown broth that's developing there. And we're going to use the wooden spatula just to help to bring that up. You can feel it. It'll become smooth again when you've got it all up. It's so again, we don't want to really put beef stock in a lamb stew. That's just going to uh, take away from the flavor of the lamb. So here with these neck bones, we're creating our own broth. So now that the fawn's up, I'll go ahead and put in more water and some more of our Greek seasoning. So we'll give it another good uh, couple teaspoons probably of our Greek seasoning. I haven't, uh, don't go too crazy because we don't know what the salt level is on those. We're going to put the top back on and we already got some more coals ready and we're going to load up the top and let her braise. Some of y'all might be asking, oh, well, how long are we going to let this cook? Well, I got stuff to do. It's spring. We're trying to get our garden going. I got a bunch of tomato plants to plant today. Uh, we already got green beans with uh, baby green beans on them. Uh, so we're wide open in the garden today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from this and let it burn out. Okay, once we do that, that meat should be perfect. We might check on it every uh, hour or so just to make sure we still got water in it. And then once that's all braised down, then we'll make our stew. Alright, well I need some fresh tomatoes, so let's go to the store here. Hey, look at that. Fresh cherry tomatoes and tons of them. So we're going to pick some of these guys. We've got a couple stragglers over there on those vines. And uh, we're going to uh, cap them and blanch them real quick and um, get them ready for our stew. Yummy. All right, we've been out here working in the garden all day, and so now our uh, our lamb neck bones are perfectly braised. We have a beautiful brown broth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. We're not going to break these up in the pot. We're going to go ahead and remove these and uh, take the meat back off of them and return the meat back to our pot. We'll shake all the ashes off here and we'll start our stew. We just put these back on the tray we took them off of and we're just going to gently remove them. They're pretty hot still, but you can get in there. They're not hot, so hot you can't touch them. And make sure that we get all of these actual neck bones you know, out of there. I don't want anybody chomping on one of those. So we're going to use our fingers. You know, some, sometimes you just open them up a little bit and they'll cool really quick. We want to get all that good stuff out of that lamb neck bone. So here's a little, still a little too hot to deal with. So we're just going to go ahead and break them apart a little bit. You, know, you see they're just falling apart. I'm going to break them up a little bit, let them cool a little bit, and then we'll just pick them, the rest of them by hand. They smell awesome. Okay, we separated the uh, bones from the meat, and uh, if you're asking how long did that take, uh, three hours, but I'll explain. Well, if y'all are thinking that, uh, you know, three hours is a long time to cook something, well, you know, when you put it over on the Dutch oven, pretty much uh, put the lid on it, maybe check it once in a great, great while, but, you know, it's going to burn out before it's going to 
uh, you know, cause any problem. So while we've been cooking here today, you know, we've been accomplished a lot of stuff. Like we just planted all these tomato plants. We uh, redid this row right here, put some new compost in, fertilizer. So we just planted uh, 14 new Roma tomatoes that's going to be our uh, canned tomatoes, fresh canned from our garden here this this uh, this year coming up. So got some card collards out there. We picked all the kale and that will be for dinner. So uh, yeah, not a big deal when you can just walk away from it. Okay, let's go through the ingredients for this next step of putting the stew together real quick. We have our lamb debone. We have a couple tablespoons of diced garlic. We have our Greek seasoning again. We got some carrots, celery. We have uh, our tomatoes that we just got from the store there. Uh, we de-skinned those or peeled them. And here we have some uh, gold and red potatoes. I peeled the gold ones but left the red ones with the skin on for color. So we're going to go ahead, get the Dutch oven fired up and start putting this back together. Alright, we're going to go ahead and set up for uh, the second phase of cooking. Again, I'm going to put uh, just several coals on the bottom and get our pot up on it. All right, and then we can start adding our ingredients. But we might just uh, shovel these around a little bit, get them tucked up under, make sure they're going, and uh, let it come up to heat a little bit. And then we'll start uh, adding our ingredients. Okay, we're gonna start adding our ingredients now. First, uh, cherry tomatoes. Potatoes, and I've also added a bay leaf. Potatoes. You know those things are going to take longer than anything else to cook. Go ahead and put our uh, garlic in there. Celery. Carrots. We're not any adding any onions right now. Uh, I'm gonna since we already put onions in, and then obviously our our deboned lamb is gonna go right back in there. any of that. Give that a quick stir and we'll start putting the lid on it. Okay, just going to stir that in. Make sure we have enough liquid. I want to put just maybe a cup of water in there. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with just a little bit more of our Greek seasoning. Maybe a teaspoon for these veggies. And we'll get our lid on. The rest of our coals on top. Not on, not on heat control here, just uh, get it on. So we'll just spread those out. We got quite a few on the bottom. Also, we'll just get these out around the edges and uh, we'll let her simmer for a while. All right, we give it a few minutes just to come up to a boil. It's simmering now. Now we're gonna go ahead and add uh, about a cup a cup and a half of a good red wine. Give that a little stir. And it immediately smells very really awesome. So, pull it back on. Let her finish up. Alright, we got some more fire going. Fixing to fire this thing up. Our last finishing touch is some Greek olives. I pitted those. Um, you don't have to pit them, um, but you know, if your guests are not ready for that uh, for that pit, um, might be a big surprise. So we're going to bring this up to heat. Here we'll go ahead and thicken it, and it'll be time to eat. Got a good boil going on. 
You need to get a bowl before you put your corn. So this is two tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. So we just want to stir that in, stir it all in there, and that'll help you thicken up our, our broth. Bring this whole thing together. Give that just a little, little more time. Should be ready. minutes and this baby's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off the fire, let it cool just a little bit, melt together, and bring it over here to our uh, our prep table. And just uh, let it cool off a minute and we'll serve you up. Hey guys time for the plate up. First we have our uh, our beautiful lamb stew and um Potatoes, carrots, lamb, olives. Go ahead, we're going to bring that over to our plate there. Garnish for that. We have a uh, Swiss chard leaf. We're going to stick that kind of over on the side there. It's beautiful color and obviously edible. And then uh, some of the pieces of the stem for color over the top there. Alright, then we have some uh, iron skillet toasted garlic, garlic bread there. Kind of stick those around here, just like that. We have some fresh uh, green onions from the garden. Let's bring a couple of those. And as a side dish, we have uh, some fresh kale from the garden today. And, uh, you know, we were changing stuff up in the garden, so the, the kale needed to go, uh, go away so that we could plant tomatoes. So, we're going to just go ahead and put that on the side of the plate there. And a little green onions. For that. And for our lamb stew, here's the uh, seasoning we've been using all day. The uh, all-purpose Greek seasoning. Go ahead, and just give that another little shake. And that right there is almost done. Almost done. The last thing we need is a little red wine. Go with that meal. Yeah, I already been nibbling on this. I have to admit, and it's pretty good stuff. And this uh, Lake Ridge, this is uh, Florida grown grapes, made right here local. Uh, Lake Ridge Southern Red, freaking awesome. Drinking, cooking, whatever you want to do with it. the lamb stew is really great so if you like what we're doing hit that like button and uh, as always please subscribe share and comment on the page there we'll see you next time
I'm picking out on this uh, lamb stew. It was pretty freaking awesome. <coughs> Alright, well, I just got done picking out on some of that lamb stew. It was pretty awesome. This wine is really awesome. Really liking that. Um, so, you guys, uh, 